The light kit comes with a user manual and contains two LED DRL light modules, two clip-on fitting brackets, a plug-and-play electronic control box with a one-touch connector, and fitting accessories. First, you need to decide where you want the lights to go. Start by measuring the car to check that the mounting positions fit within European regulations. You can find a diagram with these details either in the instruction manual or at led-drl.co.uk. For some cars, it may be necessary to remove the lower grills to mount the brackets. To do this, you may need to loosen a body panel. Remove the grill, mark the position of the bracket and use a drill and jigsaw to cut a hole so it can fit neatly into position. Then put the grill back on the car to find the correct angle for the bracket, which must be within 10 degrees of the forward facing direction. Remove the grill once again to secure the bracket firmly. For some cars like the Alfa Romeo 159, you may simply want to mount the lights directly onto the body panel. Once you've made sure the angle of the lights is within 10 degrees of the forward facing direction, mark the holes through the bracket and drill or screw it firmly in place. To wire the unit, first choose a location for the Philips control box. Find a solid position that's near to the battery, but not too close to any sources of heat. Don't secure it yet. Next, remove the battery cover, and it's strongly recommended that you remove the negative cable from the battery before you begin wiring. Start by connecting the red wire to the spare plus sign pole and fasten securely. Then connect the black wire to the negative sign pole and do the same. To complete the wiring, firstly thread the cables through the bracket in the grills and run them up through the body of the car on both sides of the vehicle. Be careful to avoid sharp surfaces, heat sources and moving parts. Refit the grills onto the front of the car but don't clip the DRL units into the mounting brackets yet as this will be the final step. Locate the side light circuit by removing the plug from the front light assembly. Then, identify the correct cable using an automotive tester. Alternatively, you can use the Philips control box which will indicate the correct cable with a bright blue LED. Once you've done this, remember to turn off the side lights. Now, attach the one touch connector to the side light wire and make sure it's tightly fastened. Finally, make sure you fit the Philips control box firmly in place. Replace the battery cover and plug in the two DRL modules. Now you are ready to test the lights by switching on the engine. Once you're happy everything is working, you can clip the DRL units into place. And just finish off by tidying away the remaining cables with the ties provided and replacing any body panels removed. Your new lights are now installed. You can now drive with heightened visibility and improved safety and just as importantly, you can enjoy the new look of your car.